Welcome to the Leister How To channel, where we'll explain how to operate the Wellplast extrusion welder, along with some tips and tricks. Wellplast welders arrive in a custom molded case with a specially designed blank welding shoe already mounted onto the barrel. Remove the Wellplast and place it onto the stand. Position the stand so that the cord falls vertically. Plug in the Wellplast welder. Always make sure your power source voltage is correct and stable. Press the switch to turn on the blower. To set the correct welding parameters, press the menu button, select program, and then select the corresponding material. Confirm the selection with the select button. Push the back button to return to the main menu. The weld plast will now heat up to the correct temperature. Meanwhile, position the handle and tighten. After a brief warm-up period, remove the blank welding shoe when the welder has reached operating temperature. Based on the thickness of the material to be welded and the required weld geometry, select the correct welding shoe. The code, located on the bottom of the shoe, indicates the geometry of the weld and the base material thickness. A shoe profile also can be worked or customized from the supplied blank into the desired shape. Weldplast S2 and S2 TPO welding shoes can be freely rotated 360 degrees and set in the desired position. Fix the shoe position by turning the set screws on both sides of the shoe until tight. Insert the welding rod on one side or the other, but only one side at a time. Engage the drive motor using the trigger and the locking switch. Make sure your welding rod is clean and dry. In dusty environments, a cleaning cloth can be lightly clipped onto the rod and used to ensure only clean rod is being fed into the mechanism. The processing temperatures for the type of plastic being welded can be found in the material manufacturer's data sheet. To test the plastic temperature, Insert a needle temperature probe and measure the material at 10 millimeters inside the welding shoe. Measure the air temperature at 5 millimeters in the preheating nozzle with a clean probe. It is recommended that the air temperature be verified by performing this procedure at regular intervals. Use a Leister preheating reflector to preheat the welding shoe and maintain welding shoe temperature while the welder is at rest. For an ideal welding scene result, Remove the invisible oxide layer from your material using a scraper. If necessary, parts can be tacked for welding. When beginning a weld seam, preheat the area where the welding begins using the hot air from the Weldplast preheat nozzle. Hold the extrusion welder at a right angle while pressing the trigger to engage the drive motor at the same time. At transitions and corners, the hot plast can be worked to provide a smooth, professional finish. The weld bead dimensions can easily be checked with the welding gauge. Before changing the welding shoe or cooling down the tool, trim the welding rod leaving about a 6 inch length in the feed mechanism. With another 6 inch length of welding rod, take a pair of pliers and carefully push the rod approximately 1 centimeter into the hole of the welding shoe and hold it there in the molten plastic for about 10 seconds. When changing a welding shoe, or if your welding work is finished, clean as much plastic as possible from the welding shoe prior to cool down. A brass brush works great for this and it is also gentle on the parts being cleaned. As a reminder, follow all of the previous steps while the tool is still at its operating temperature. 
To turn off the machine, press the standby button and let the extruder cool down for 5 minutes. Switch off your Wellplast extrusion welder and now it's ready to be stored in the case until you need it again. Thank you for using Leister's Wellplast extrusion welder.